Stockholm, day two. <laughs> in the mirror. Close the door behind you. Close the latch. Oh, it's already going. Oh, someone else must have pressed it. Wow. You head down. That's it. That's a traditional lift. And now we are going to brave the elements. Oh my God, I can feel the cold. is glorious. They're definitely better equipped for this here than we are in, in London, because if, if we had any kind of amount of snow like this, everything would be closed, tubes wouldn't be running, but it just seems to run as normal here. It's a shame because it would never look quite the way that's to me now on camera. Annoyingly, today I was planning on going to Kogesholm Schlott, which is where Hilishka from Young Royals is filmed, but I, e I was a little bit concerned so I emailed them and was like hey are you open like I know you've got a cafe etc etc so it's it's about an hour and a half journey to get there so I was going to do that and then just kind of like wander around the grounds like especially in this weather would have been gorgeous wander around the grounds so I'm watching where I'm walking so I don't walk in the ice because I'm wearing vans walk on the grounds go to the cafe and then come back and spend the rest of the day in the city they email back like hi um you can visit but neither the castle nor the cafe are open so I'm like it's not really worth the travel unfortunately so I'm just going to have to come back to Stockholm another time. So I'm going to head to a coffee spot now and uh, have breakfast and coffee and plan the day. and I'm filming this on my phone so you can see because I have this like strap for my camera so it's like on my bag so that I can just grab it and shoot whenever I need to um, and everyone looks at me really weirdly because of it like they look at me they look at my camera then they look back at me and they just look confused I'm like is this is this abnormal for Sweden do people not do this I'm pretty sure this is a Swedish company that make this I actually cannot with this bipolar weather how was it snowing five minutes ago and now it's blue skies so my first stop today is actually back to one of the stations I went to yesterday because I was just editing some of the pictures and two of the stations I was super happy with, one of them I'm not. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to take more photos of that station. <laughs> now do some long exposures from different angles very happy moving on to the next place so on my way to one of the spots i've stumbled across one of the most amazing like indoor markets look at this it's all like cheeses and all kinds of goodness oh one percent battery great that's not gonna last for long Oh, I, I'm still filled with so much like gratitude today. Stockholm is delivered on so many levels for me, but like today again, because it snowed again and it snowed lightly and it's not rained, like the, the snow is actually stuck. Um, and it just looks so gorgeous. I'm so like just in awe of everything now. I'm walking to a park at the moment and I walked to like a mini park back there and it just looked amazing. Oh, Mr. Dave, because I'm in vans and everyone else is in walking boots, but yeah, I'm just so over the moon to be here. Though I've, I've wanted to come back here for a while, I didn't think it would be somewhere that like after this trip I would want to come back to again. I kind of chose it because I was like, I don't think it's somewhere that me and Reese would want to come, so I'm happy to come here by myself. But I actually think we'd have an amazing time here and I kind of want to come back in the summer when it's not as cold for one, but also it's lighter for longer. The only thing I'm finding is like, where I don't want to get up at the crack ass of dawn because I'm on vacation. I've only got like five or six hours of sunlight to do stuff, so. Oh wow, I think I've just arrived at the park I was coming to, so. 
Let's change this camera battery and get going. Like guys, come on, look at this like wintry wonderland. Like this is insane. Ah, don't slip, don't slip, don't slip, don't slip. Oh my God, how magical. So I believe when it's not winter, this all the trees in this park are like like red and, and pink leaves. So yeah, again, I'm gonna have to come back. Um, Cause that's, I didn't even think about that when I, when I thought about coming here. Uh, it would be winter and all the trees would be bare, bare. But gorgeous anyway, let's have a look around. I was really disappointed when I got the email about Hillish Square and I was a bit like, shit, okay, now what am I gonna do with my day? I thought that's kind of one of the main reasons why I came was to go there. So I was like, cool, let me just like order a coffee, make a plan, look on YouTube, figure out like where else I can go today. And, and this someone had posted a, a short on, on YouTube that was like top five places to, to do photography in, um, in Stockholm and this was one of them and it was like a picture of him like in amongst all the trees and like the red leaves and stuff and it looked incredible so a little bit sad but I'm just still loving it I feel like this whole vlogs are just gonna be me being like I love Stockholm so much because I can't help but be so happy to be here but I'm just gonna actually want another reason why I want to come to this park because this metro station I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it um is where well, actually it says it over there Kungs Kungstrad guard guard God's Gate? God's Gatton? I don't know. That place. It's so bad. Everything's so long in Sweden and I'm really bad at pronouncing stuff. <laughs> it looks incredible, so I want to go and take some pictures in there as well. And that's the last metro station I think I wanted to hit up. I think, no, there's one more. There is one more, but it's a little further afield, so I'm going to go from there, from here. Um, and then there's a photography museum I want to head to later on tonight. I think that's what I'm going to do this evening, because that's kind of close to where my Airbnb is, so I'm going to head there. There's just so much. There's so much to do, so I'm actually really, really excited. Okay guys, I'm under a dilemma now. Um, so I'm walking, grabbed a coffee, and I, I'm walking past the royal, the, the palace. The palace is like back over here. Because I came last night, but I think you've got to go around the other side to actually really see it, and I couldn't really be bothered last night because I was cold. It's like, right, well I'm kind of right by now, let me go check it out again. And as I'm walking past, I've come past this building, which I've looked at and I've gone, ooh, opera and that looks like it's probably a theater or something then i look at the posters steven sondheim sweeney todd one of my favorite musicals is playing and i've just looked at tickets and there's a performance tonight at seven and i could get a ticket for 50 pounds and i'm like do i do it i could go to the ph photography museum tomorrow and the vassar museum tomorrow i'm not going to decide on it now but there's a high chance i might go watch sweeney todd I'm like, I don't, I don't know if it's like been like fully translated into, into Swedish or if it's in English, I don't know. I can't see that on my phone right now. I know the music so well, I, it would, really wouldn't bother me. I know the show so well, it really wouldn't bother me. Just like, I don't know if I can pass up the opportunity to go and see one of my favorite shows at the Opera House in Stockholm. So I'm like, I think that might be what I end up doing tonight. If so, I'm so excited because I fucking love this show. I'll keep you updated. I mean, it's definitely more impressive from this side of the river. This is the Royal Palace, by the way. But I still don't think it's great. Someone in the comments did say that you need to go inside, like that's where the good stuff is, but I'm on such a tight schedule today, I don't really want to go look around a royal palace, I don't think. Like, I think like this building over here looks way better than this. Interesting. It just doesn't look very grand. It just looks like a big building. Cool though. Well, I checked it out. Um, in there somewhere, you can't hear me. That was cool though, I'm glad to have seen it. Like I walked a along the side a bit last night, but yeah, I was like, I think I need to go around the front like from the pictures I'd seen. I think you had to come around the front way and I was right. So I'm now walking to another place that I can't pronounce, but it's so that I, it's like a, an island, a little tiny island off of like Gamlastan and Sodomam so that I can take some pictures like of Sodomam because like the promenade like view from here is gorgeous so and it's all like all the rooftops are all white from the snow and stuff so oh my god that's really cool okay I'm gonna have to stop and take some pictures here look at this so cool I'm finding that this side of town is like a lot more built up there's a lot, more, a lot more hotels a lot more shops like if I was looking at the map like the right hand side of the central station whereas like the left hand side of it Rugamlastan and then like Sodomam there's not really any shops or anything it's all about I don't know it, there's like it feels a lot more local in those areas like I'd if I was to liken it somewhere in London I would say I don't know somewhere a little bit more residential but where there's still I don't know, like Chiswick or something like where it's residential and there's bars and there's restaurants and stuff as opposed to like lots of shops so it's nice to have seen like a different side of it but like I'm obsessed I'm so I could cry again I just feel so grateful how did I not know that Stockholm was so like surrounded by water as well that's like when I think of places that I want to come to, this is what I 
think of. Like I, I want to be in a city. Like I think that's why I love London. Is like it's a city, but we've got the Thames running through it. And like this is so perfect for me to like be in a city but still be surrounded by water because I think that's what I always miss most like being in a city is all those years of working on ships and living by the ocean as well like in Bournemouth I miss water bodies of water and Stockholm is just really fucking delivering at the moment and I'm swearing a lot because I'm so excited but wow oh, yeah this view is gorgeous just swapped over lenses because for the first time actually this trip I've only used the new wide angle lens this whole trip but there's a lot of stuff here that I can see I'm gonna want to get some slightly more close-up shots with so I've gone with the 28 to 75 mil now so like there was some swans and stuff back there I was like oh I wish I could zoom in a little bit and get that shot and this it's all kind of coming flooding back to me now like how I used to feel as a photographer like there's never the right lens I'm always looking for something a little bit more because I want to capture everything all the time so I think it's such a, a skill as a photographer to learn how to shoot with one lens and that's been I know I used to really struggle shooting with wide-angle lenses so I'm so proud of myself this weekend like that's like my first big photography trip in three years since COVID since I went to Wales with the team it's been so cool to like yeah it's been such a challenge I'm so proud of myself with like sticking with that 20 mil for this whole time but I know the 20 mil is just gonna be too wide to capture this landscape over here so to the 75 minutes. Also, apologies in advance to all of you that have tuned in for it's a nice Sweden vlog and I'm here chatting about cameras, but this is this is my passion coming through now. And I'm sorry, I put a thing up on Facebook yesterday for my friends and family, like I really felt like COVID had killed all of that passion that I had for photography. I've got to hold a feather out, but this trip has really like re-sparked that flame in me and made me remember why I love photography and video so much. So, so, so nice to have that drive again. I'm so excited. Oh my God, this bench is right on the waterfront. Yes. Oh my God, I love Sweden. Benches. So this is the view that I came to see. Look at that. So this is the photography museum, if I'm not mistaken actually, out there. But like all of this. So funny because I stood up there on my first night, walked down from my Airbnb. Like what a panoramic view. Boat. Right. Peace out, sort of mum. My feet are cold. I've literally been here for nearly an hour. The only reason why I'm leaving, and I'm now really feeling it as I'm walking away, is that my feet are froze. <laughs> Biggest learning from this trip, I did not pair, prepare footwear. The only two shoes I bought with me were my Lululemon like runners and my Vans. Rookie mistake. If I come back here in the winter, bring walking boots, bring thick socks at least, because whew, it's making me have to keep going, going inside which is just not ideal. I think I am noticing with this camera, and I've never really noticed it on sit-down videos. The white balance is weird. I'm struggling with that a little bit. So if somehow a camera geek like me is watching these vlogs, then you know anything about the white balance on the Sony a7 in the comments, because I want to understand that. But now I'm going to go back to that station that I was saying about that I didn't go to originally because I was walking here, and see if I can go take some photos in there, and then go to another station, and then um, get something to eat. I've only had a, like a cinnamon bun, so if I say some stuff. <laughs> so I've had to stand behind a tree. Um, yeah, that was the most surreal experience. It was just a cafe like off of the walk that I was just doing. And I was freezing, so I was like, I'm gonna go get a cup of tea. And it was a beautiful atmosphere in there anyway. There's like piano music playing and... gorgeous like surreal chill vibes um, and then the guy comes in with the most beautiful I can't remember what breed he said it is but it's like a Siberian like sled pulling dog and we got chatting and I was just telling him obviously we've just lost Sky and how beautiful his dog was and I've just found the people here to be so welcoming and so friendly and I don't know it's one of those beautiful moments of like walking away. I'm like, he doesn't realize how much that conversation meant to me and how much that interaction will stand out to me as in my time here in Stockholm. Yeah, just a really, yeah, a really beautiful, humbling experience. I really treasure that, that interaction. I feel like I'm gonna, gonna leave tomorrow and feeling so much more grounded and just kind of ready to, to face life. This trip has been really, really good. It's really good. I did it. I'm going to see Sweeney Todd tonight.
I mean, look at this for an escalator. Jesus Christ, this goes on forever. Guys, I'm so in love with this city. So, so, so in love. And I'm so excited. I'm going to see Sweeney Todd tonight. It's literally, it's my favorite Stephen Sondheim musical by far, but one of my favorite musicals at all. And I'm going to see it with an, like, produced by an opera company that there's no better company to do Sweeney Todd because it basically is an opera. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, this one probably doubles as the most crazy of all of the stations. Like, look at this. What on earth? How is there like a full on scene in the lead up from the escalator to the platform? I also can't get over how spacious the metro system is here. Like that's absolutely insane. If any of you have been to London, you know that this is not the case in London at all. It's just mad. And the trains run so often. It's honestly just such a better system. A few moments later. Right, well I've come home. I went to the Airbnb and I've dropped off my stuff. I'm changed for the opera. It's the smartest thing I have. There isn't a dress code, I've already checked. No, I'm not wearing the hat, I'm wearing a beanie, you've got my hair. Who's grim? I've been wearing a beanie all day. <sighs> but, so I won't be taking the camera out tonight, but I'll be vlogging from my phone. So, let's swap over to that. And we are off to the opera! But I'm gonna go have a drink and some food first, because why not treat yourself when you're on the ultimate day out? So that's where I'm heading now. There's a bar that's very, very close to where my hotel is, uh, my Airbnb is. And a big thing in Sweden is happy hour, though it seems to be like all day every day, but because outside of that, I mean, everyone pre-warned that alcohol was super expensive in Sweden. The current exchange rate, I actually don't think it's that different to London. Like a bar I was in yesterday, it was like six pounds for a pint. I'm like, that's London prices. So it's really not been that different to me. So yeah, I can have a quick drink and then head to the opera house and go watch one of my favorite shows. I've just posted a, a post on Patreon and you've all been so lovely and so wonderful in, in, in the comments. Yeah, I'm so excited to watch these vlogs just because I'm so excited about making them and I'm excited to show you around town Sweden. So yeah, anyway, let's go get this drink. Lovely stuff. We're on our way out and we're on our way to the opera house. The beer's in. We're very, very, very happy. We've been singing Sweeties on all day. So I'm just so excited to see what this theatre looks like, the opera house looks like. Like the picture, you could, when you were choosing your tickets, you could like have a view from like certain points of the theatre and it looks gorgeous. So yeah, I'm just excited to get there and see what it's about. Yeah, my directional abilities are definitely not where they need to be <laughs> in Sweden. This is the opera house and I was just walking alongside it like, where am I going? I swear I went here earlier and I did. I just walked the other way, so we're on track. Two hours later. Fucking incredible. Look at that building. I couldn't have asked. Bar one do dodgy actress, the rest of it was unbelievable. To listen to a Sondheim score sung by a classical company was unbelievable. I'm so glad that I booked. Wow. The guy playing Sweeney was unbelievable. Just the most glorious baritone. I said to, to Lane on, on Twitter, Sweeney Todd was one of the scores that when I was growing up, I so desperately wanted to be a tenor and it looked like I was going to be a tenor as a kid. And then as I my voice broke, I definitely became a high baritone, but a baritone nonetheless. I've got the low notes of a baritone. And Sweeney Todd was one of the scores that made me fall in love with being a baritone. I just, wow, what a, what a wonderful evening. I fucking love Stockholm. I don't want to go home. Right, guys, that is me signing out of today's video. I'm on my way back to my Airbnb. That's the end of my last full day here in Stockholm. Got some snacks because I didn't really actually eat today. <laughs> I only um, grazed on a few little bits, which is fine. Like I, I want to make the most of the day, so that's why. Oh. And I don't regret it for a second, so I'm off back to my Airbnb, which is just down, down the way here. I'm gonna eat some crisps and eat my donut and enjoy a little bit of sleep, because I'm gonna get up early tomorrow and enjoy my last day to the max. I've got a couple of stuff that I really, really want to do, so I'm gonna get that done. I just had a really lovely moment. I was sitting down the street there. I stopped after the show to have a drink, and I stood on the street just kind of admiring the street, thinking of all the memories I've made in three days and how much I've really fallen in, in love with this city in such a short space of time. And I was even texting Reese today, like I chose Stockholm because I didn't think we would want to come here as a couple. And I've fallen so in love with it as a city that I'm desperate to come back. So it just makes me excited to kind of know what 
what the future may hold with this city in my life. So yeah, that is it for today's video. And I will see you tomorrow for another vlog. So yeah, until next time guys, I'll catch you in a few.